What's up YouTube, it's David Taylor here with Robo13. Today I'm going to be unboxing the new HP 7-inch tablet. This is dubbed the Mesquite, I believe it's called. Uh, there really isn't any name of that, though, on the box at all, or in the box, I don't believe at all. But I'll be unboxing this right now. So this is the really cheap HP tablet. I think you can still get it right now for $89, I think. Maybe a little bit more with taxes and stuff. But I picked this up for about 90 bucks at Walmart on Black Friday. You can still get it, I believe, if it's still in stock. Uh, this is what it looks like. You just open up the little box right here. here here's the tablet itself. It is a 7-inch tablet. Put that to the side really quick. Here is the uh, charge and sync cable. It just looks like a micro USB and a uh, wall adapter right there. And underneath here, it looks like here is the quick start guide. And that's it. That's all that comes in the box. It's very uh, simple. Now, HP, I was surprised they kind of came out with a new tablet uh, after their whole HP touchpad thing kind of failed. I love the touchpad. I, I use it with um, CyanogenMod, which I will be making an update video to, by the way. Let's get this open here. Let's see what's in here. Just some quick start guides. Nothing important, really. Uh, technical support and limited warranty. Uh, and then just, you know, how to set up your tablet like that. This is running Android, I want to say 4.2.1, I believe. And this has an Intel Atom processor, which is actually pretty uh, impressive for a tablet, such as one from HP to have this. Let's see if I can get this uh, screen protector off here. Let's pull that right off. And there it is. The all brand new HP Touch, or not HP Touchpad. Uh, it's just called 7 Tablet. I believe it is called uh, the Mesquite though on their website if you go and check it out. Actually, I don't think you can get it on the website. I think you can only pick it up at Walmart. Uh, but here it is. Let me get, I'll compare this to the iPad Mini in just a second once I go grab that. And here it is in comparison with the iPad Mini. This is the new Retina iPad Mini as you can see right there. Uh, and it, it's about the same size and maybe a little bit smaller uh, than the iPad Mini. Right there, you guys can see the little edge right there. But uh, I'll have a review on this when I get to use it a little bit more. It isn't, I've, I used my friends a little while ago. It isn't the best Android tablet out there, obviously. It's basically, you're going to get what you pay for. It's 89 bucks. You're not going to get a very powerful tablet. But this is perfect for people who just want to, you know, surf the web or watch YouTube videos, that kind of stuff. Nothing nothing crazy special about it. You can play games. I've saw, I saw my friend playing Temple Run. It was running pretty fine. Uh, but you're not going to get the best bang for your buck out of this tablet right here as you can see right there intel uh and the hp logo on the back you got your speakers there and even have uh, some room for an sd card slot because this is actually only eight gigabytes of memory i believe it's actually only five gigabytes once you get you know all the details sorted out with the operating system and everything so that is basically this is the unboxing of the hp 7 tablet the mesquite let's see if i can get some specs over here really quick let me check the box so there were no specs on the box itself but i found it on a website let's see it has one gigabyte of ram eight gigabytes of internal storage it has wi-fi and bluetooth connectivity uh, it is running android 4.2.1 i think you can upgrade it to 4.2.2 i believe uh, i'm not sure just yet i doubt this is going to get many updates with the new uh, Android stuff coming out, especially with KitKat. I doubt we're going to be able to get all the way up to KitKat uh, with this thing. It says the battery life only lasts five hours, and that's kind of disappointing because of how small this is. You would think that they could fit a pretty decent sized battery in here. Uh, it has a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom Z2640 Medfield processor. So you guys can go look that up if you want. It has a 1024 by 600 pixel uh, resolution display. So it's not the best display either, but it looks all right for a 7-inch tablet uh, such as this right here. And that's basically it. You can pick it up at Walmart for $89. I believe it's a little bit more with taxes uh, as well. So go check it out. If you guys see these in your local Walmart, you can go check it out and uh, see for yourself. I'll have a review of this out in a few days, hopefully, once I get back from uh, my apartment, back to my my parents house so i can go see them uh over christmas break here once school lets out uh, and i'll hopefully have that up as well as an hp touchpad video as soon as i possibly can i know a lot of people have been asking me for that uh, and i've been kind of uh vague on when i'm going to be doing that just because i'm going to be uh hopefully getting it done when i get back uh over winter break so i hope you guys like this video and i will see you all in the next one thanks guys